world class. And then now, top of the podium. The men's under 78 kilogram grouping, Hassan Chan Lasoglu against Patrick Divkovic. Well, they'll have to go some to produce the quality that we've just seen there. And there's the way they got through. Ho Yun Chun from Korea, vested by the Turk. Lasoglu on the way through. Yan Bai against Slovenia's Divkovic. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the gold medal pilot for men under 78 kilograms, representing Turkey, Blue John, Hassan John Lazulu, representing Slovenia, Paul Red, Papi Dalubovic. Divkovic making some Slovenian sporting history here. Can he produce the first ever Junior World Championship title for Slovenia? Hassan Chan Lazalu, look at that for a difficult route through here. That win against Ho Yan Chun in the semi final. Five top class fights. Same for Divkovic, Yin Bai. Looked a little bit out of it in the first, the Chinese fighter, but came back to get an excellent bronze. Both fighters will now have their electronic gear checked as Barbara Marion keeps an eye on the process. The first of the men's finals for the last day here at the World Championships. Patrick Devkovic in red. Asan Chan Lazalu from Turkey. The youngster from Istanbul. Both men sizing each other up here, looking for a space. And a 78 kilogram final. We've got plenty of power behind the shots, but also a lot of speed. The welterweight category. We're going to make us wait for points because patience is a virtue at the start. Good punch to start there from Divkovic. Timed it well, landed it cleanly. Well, that shot landing low on the leg there. Very good refereeing. Like counter there. Slovenia's Divkovic into that open stance, trying to draw in Lasoglu, the Turk. He's just taking his time here, working off that front leg, tries with the chop kick, gets close. Minute left in the first round here. Back leg turning kick, no real steam on it though. Tries with a back kick of his own Lasoglu. Both fighters using that front leg. Good punch in response there. Hassan Chan Lasolu doesn't score it though. 40 seconds. Back leg counter missed. Just steps inside that attempted chop kick there. Well, this one about not making any mistakes so far. Neither man really committing too much. Back leg turning kick. Countered by the back kick. Fight. Same again with that little shot under the guard. Tries with a jump, tries with a spin round the corner. Well blocked. Much to write home about with that one, save for the power punch from Patrick Divkovic. 16-year-old from Istanbul. Well, he won the Turkish Open before coming here. 
Going to have to find his way back into this one. Divkovic made it look good and made it easy with this excellent shot. Right down the pipe. Other than that, they both cancelled each other out. A few acrobatic efforts to no avail. But who can avail themselves of a World Championship gold here? Super enthusiastic coaches there. Jump off! Well, here we go, the second round, the under 78 kilogram final here. Junior World Championships. In Burnaby, Canada. Great host. Great expectations from both men here. Well, just stepping out of bounds there, Divkovic. And that can go. Well, that's going to help the cause of the Turk now. the back foot, shuffling around. Missing wildly with that punch, walking into the counter shot there from Lasolu. Hassan Chen Lasolu. His points down, he's now two points up, will cancel that good counter on the way round from Divkovic. Devkovic with the back leg there. Does it score? A minute and ten to go in this one. An engrossing battle in the second round here. Devkovic looking to put on a bit of pressure here. Solo happy to defend. Has a Kyungo against his name though. The Turk in blue. Tries with a back kick, good push there from Lasolu, almost with the chop kick. Getting closer. Patrick Divkovic is going to have to come and take it. Still a very evenly poised match. Back leg counter, well blocked there, using the arms, Lasolu. Again. Ten seconds oh. left in this second round. Point difference. Well, both men deciding to let it lie at that. We'll go back to their respective corners because we don't want to make any mistakes here at this crucial juncture in proceedings. Well, solo. Very, very tight match. Well, missed with that wild punch, but got the counter on the way through. And it's difficult, it's easy to watch a fight and think, well, you should try and kick each other, move a bit more, do a bit more, but when you're in there, you're not there to entertain, you're there to get the job done. As I mentioned, there's a lot of power in these young fighters. They're always protecting themselves, always wary. It's like crossing the street, you've got to check and make sure. Can't afford to get it wrong. And with the intel gathered, both men will know. Good shot there on the way through from Divkovic. to come and take it, and he has at the start of this one. There's something about the way they're both beginning to bring this to a boil here. There we go, there's the shot there from Lasolo. They've saved up plenty of energy. They've checked each other's competencies, they've felt each other's power. Now it's time to decide who wants to go for it. Who's going to make the big run for gold here? Tries with the back kick around the corner. Divkovic. Easily blocked by Lasolu. And a 
again. Same technique, same outcome. And a power punch there from Divkovic. Landing. Masolo not happy. His lead is gone. And into the final minute. through stumbles and falls takes the kill go Patrick Divkovic well on the way now the last 45 it's four against five still anyone's game here Russia or Turkey for world championship gold back kick attempt there just missing good use of the shoulder there from Lasolu yeah, and he's done well, that kill goal, which he initiated. Clever work from the Turk. Well, very evenly poised now, 25 seconds left in the third. Five points apiece. Can they take it into their own hands? Well, Divkovic can. Can the solo find a way back into this? Can he make it a golden point round? Ten seconds left. Will it be gold or silver? Glory beckons. Masolo trying to be aggressive. Divkovic on the defensive, tries with the counter. The Turk stays strong, shifts round, blocks, and grabs gold. Wonderful work there for the Slovenian fighter, Patrick Divkovic. He makes taekwondo history there. Tremendous times for him. made to work for it, he was kept honest all the way through. Patrick Divkovic, hats off to him, confirmation of the result. And the smile says it all. As he gulps in the air, he's exhausted, but most certainly elated. Good effort from Turkey. Bronze. Going to Korea, silver to Turkey. And it is an excellent gold medal in favour of Slovenia for the first time. And it will slowly begin to dawn on him what he's achieved. He's still in battle mode. And he had to battle for it for sure from start to finish. Finishes as the top man on the podium. <laughs> Junior World Champion Patrick Divkovic of Slovenia.